Asao mu laikam war ma tulahi wa barakatu. Before continuing to the video, I remind you to help this channel develop by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing. Thank you. The first of Jul Hija. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives the mistakes of Prophet Adam. So, whoever fasts on the first of Jul Hija, his small sins will surely be forgiven. The second of Jul Hija. The prayer of the Prophet Yunus was granted by Allah and removed from the fish's stomach. So, whoever fasts on the second day of the month of Jul Hija, his reward is comparable to fasting for one year without disobeying Allah. The third of Jul Hija. Allah granted the prayer of Prophet Zakaria who wanted a son. Even though Prophet Zakaria was already 120 years old at that time, so whoever fasts on the third of Jul Hija, all his wishes will be granted by Allah. The fourth of Jul Hija. Prophet Isa was born by his mother, Maryam in the corner of the city of Bethlehem in good health, even though he had shocked his people because he was born from a virgin. Whoever fasts on the fourth day of the month of Jul Hija, Allah will remove the troubles of life and poverty, and later on the day of judgment he will be gathered with noble people. The fifth of Jul Hija. Prophet Musa was born with the name Yaqubay in the village of Uxar, Egypt. He was then raised by Pharaoh and turned against Pharaoh because of his arrogance and arrogance. Whoever fasts on the fifth of Jul Hija will surely be spared from hypocrisy and the torment of the grave. Sixth Jul Hija. Allah opened the door of goodness to Prophet Muhammad Shallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, whoever fasts on the sixth of Jul Hija, Allah will send down his mercy and avoid punishment forever. Jul Hija 7 The gates of hell are closed and locked, and will only be open after the tenth day of the month of Jul Hija. Whoever fasts on the seventh of Jul Hija, thirty doors of distress will be avoided and thirty doors of ease will be opened for him. The eighth of Jul Hija Allah ordered the Prophet Ibrahim to build the Kaaba. When the Kaaba building was finished, Prophet Ibrahim pondered whether what he had done was rewarded or not. So it is called the eighth day of the month of Jul Hija, with Yom al tarwiya which means the day of contemplation and thinking. Some say Prophet Ibrahim dreamed of getting an assignment from God to slaughter Ismail. So, all day Prophet Ibrahim thought whether the order was really from God or from Satan. So, Whoever fasts on the 8th of Jul Hija, Allah will give him a reward whose value only Allah knows. Jul Hija 9 Prophet Ibrahim was sure that his dream on the ninth night was really from Allah and not from Satan. Today is called Yomu Arafah because the place used to slaughter Prophet Ismail is called Arafah. Whoever fasts on the 9th of Jul Hija, Allah will forgive his sins for one year that has passed and one year to come. That's all of the videos from Mix Hura Hura that I can summarize. Remember to help this channel grow by subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.